say the whole Bible and everything before and everything afterwards in about 10 minutes. Good luck. Yeah, I can't get there. <laughs> so I'll start out with mom and dad. <laughs> and, and, and the reason why I'm picking on mom is I'd like for everybody to think about something. If mom wasn't here, would you exist this day? Well, Jaden and Melvin, you two are it. <laughs> and and the, reason, the reason why I say that is so that you'll think about how important you are. I mean, mom kind of probably already has that figured out. But the rest of us sometimes just don't know what we're doing. But we, in our entity and in our world, it's ours. It is ours. And then, of course, now you've got to connect that up with something, and that is the great I am. And, of course, the Jewish people name it. And, and this all started kind of at a time frame that English doesn't have a word for, because it has to do with time. Because God said, I am, and that's one of his names, I am, that I am. And it references Jesus too. And all this is communicated by the Holy Spirit. And all this supports you way before we even have any comprehension of what we are. And so, you've got to go back to, well, wait a minute. What's going on? Must have been something because I am this little I am back in the past, but he's ever present and time beginning to end. Except, except there's no end and no beginning. So somewhere in the picture, though, we got presented a little tiny bit of this program. That I am set up. And he created stars in this interesting planet. Somewhere in there, he made somebody else, Lucifer, the angel of light. I don't know how long it lasted, but he had this planet beautiful. And everything was just what God wanted. And I, I, you think about that a little bit. Well, wow. Yeah. Look. Somebody started getting into an argument. Decided he wanted to be his good Scott. Uh oh. Oh, uh -oh. that didn't work. So you know where he went down here, this planet. And you know what happened to this planet? Genesis chapter one. It became void. God didn't create a boy. It became boy. And so now Lucifer's in trouble. And a whole bunch of his followers. Well, almost a third, I guess it was. It's a big number. So here they are running around on this planet. Lord, God, Holy Spirit, decided, hey, let's do something about this. You know what he did? And he created this planet. And he put a man on it. I think that's for me. That's us. Okay. Now I don't know who it was before. I mean, it had to be a big bunch of people. I mean, because we have all kinds of evidence for them. You know? uh, but we have a lots of stuff for our history, too. And, and it's, it's just a okay. But I don't know how long they did it. It must have been a long time because there must have been a lot of people. But one day, even Adam decided to do something that wasn't too wise. Because why? He wanted to be like what Lucifer said. I want to do what you're doing. And they decided, well, what's he hiding from us? I want to do what he's doing. Well, believe it or not, that's one of the things that really gets God upset. Is whenever people decide that they want to become him. Because you can't. 
And so what mankind do? They decided that they would decide and build their own God. And so one of the Ten Commandments, no idol worship. Come on, you guys. I'm it. Don't do that. Why are you taking that stone and making this thing out of it, and then you worship it? You take a tree, you cut it down, you make totem poles and the idols out of it, and you bow down to it. And then you take that very same thing and you chop it into wood and you make the fire and you roast a hot dog. <laughs> okay, so, so here we are. You can see why I am gets upset with us sometimes. And, and, and I don't want to stretch it into, you know, TVs and stars. Uh, but if you study history, you'll find it's all over the place. And, and he tells you in the Old Testament and even in the New. Come on, you guys. This stuff that you're doing, you have to pick it up and you have to carry it around. And it can't do anything for you. And that song, I'll get you one, but it ain't really doing it. I'm going to do that. And, you, mm. and so, guess what? Children of Israel, every time they turn around, they would take some calf, they'd make it out of bowl bowl, and you pour stuff. And I, I, I realized you really can't eat gold either. Uh, but anyhow, so, so he, he got on to them about all this. But back on Adam and Eve, they realized that things wasn't working out too well. And the Lord made a promise to them. He says, I'll take care of you guys. I'll, I'll, I'll provide a means of you being able to get back with me. Now, it wasn't tomorrow, but it was promised to them. And, and, and it got so confusing that, that there were some challenges with the human race. And, and Lucifer was pretty pissed by this stuff because he seemed that he was going to lose his position. Because God was probably restoring his kingdom. Bad words. I mean, because God doesn't have kingdoms. Yeah. But how do you express it? Yeah, we're in English. Okay, so so here we are. He, he picks this all up. And <coughs> Lucifer decided, I want to take care of this. Well, we ended up with a guy getting murdered. Yeah. I mean, that's another guy that he wanted to build this big city and build some idols and whatever. And so guess what happened? Well, Lucifer came on the scene and he decided, I'm going to mess up God. He didn't let me have it, I'm going to get him. I'm going to show him he ain't right. Well, how did he do that? He decided to come down and make everybody gods. And so they had the giants in the land in those days. And now, God said, ooh, there is no more humans that are following me. They're all corrupted. We're going to have to do some buckles. And there was a few on the planet that said, okay, finish the story. It's no one now. Okay. Well, now, 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 here all these guys are going through this. I don't have many thousands of years, but the Bible has a few thousand. But, you know, I'm filling them blanks. So, so here we are, and, and guess who come trucking out of the ark? Four guys? Three guys? Noah and his wife, his three sons, and of course, yeah, and, and what they do? They trucked all over the world. And, and even though all this was going on, there was still something following the human race. And, of them being able to be part of the program of God directly. And, and there was one of those sons that was going to carry this on, promised from Adam. So, so they, they did. And you know where they ended up settling? I'm skipping a lot of stuff. But they ended up settling in, guess where? Israel. Why was that so important? Well, because we had all the genealogies that carried us up to the time of Moses. Fucking into the old land. We had all kinds of stuff, all kinds of idols, people being stupid, but the Lord was still taking care of it. And, 
And lo and behold, you'd think Lucifer would catch on after a while, but he tried to screw things up again. And so David, he had to go in there, and his people killed the last of the giants. Okay. And so theoretically now, that's us humans. We don't have to worry about having bad DNA. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, we're all different. And that comes from DNA. Okay, so anyhow, am I getting too long here? Mom, how you doing? <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm trying to truncate it. So, so here we, we have this scene then that the children of Israel have now got Israel. And, and everything's good. David did his thing. Uh, the prophets did their thing. And, and everywhere you look at it, everywhere you look at it. Now, I've studied the Old Testament several times here lately. And because I always thought it was kind of boring. Uh, you know, lots of stuff that they just more. <laughs> it is so tied up with Jesus Christ that it just unreal. And why I'm saying this is, you find, I, I study lots of history. I spend most of my time studying this stuff. You will find no other document, no other writing that even remotely comes close to comparing the Word of God. I'm talking about the Bible. I mean, for me, the Word of God is important to the Bible, but I tie it together. You will find no other source of literature that gets what the Bible gets. We have heathens. We have tribes of everybody. We have people that hate God. We have people that want to destroy God. The Democrats. <laughs> okay. And, and, they, and they take this stuff and they take it and twist it in such a manner as to where, well, see, it's void. It's invalid. And they take their books and they say, look at how important Shakespeare is. Shakespeare is not evaluated and analyzed. It has not been translated into every language of the world. It has not been uh, higher criticism so that you can destroy it. Instead, they say, oh, this proves that he knows what he was talking about. And you'll find this in all writings throughout the whole world. It's really interesting when it really start doing it. But there's a reason. It's because that is the source that the Holy Spirit works with us to bring us to I Him. And so it's really fascinating, and that's the reason why people like me get excited about the Bible. I read other things in correlation of it and study it, but you always go back to the source. And, and it may not make sense, but it's okay. The Holy Spirit is working with every one of us in where we're at. And that's why I mentioned Mom. Because where would we be without all this behind us? We wouldn't. And, and I, it, it, but it, what it does, it makes Chinese important. It makes Japanese important. It makes even Muslims and Democrats important. Oh, it's unreal. It? <laughs> <laughs> but see, this is what's neat about the Bible and how the Holy Spirit works. We don't have to do it. The Holy Spirit does it. So I'm okay with it. I get frustrated sometimes, though. Because I think, why don't you finish the sentence? Why don't you evaluate who and where you are. Nah, I'm picking on this here. I'm too interested in ball game. I'm too interested in studying more history. Uh, I'm too in, involved with coming my hair just right. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm, I'm too involved with uh, DNA and everybody having uh, a superhuman race. Guess who that was? Yeah. Uh, and, and what are we having today? We are not far from if you study World War II studies of Hitler and what he did in this thing, and how did he go for it? What's his name? Stalin? No, uh, in Japan. Oh, uh, but they all thought that they were God 
in every respect. And then their tribe was it because and you know what's interesting about that? Maybe this came from the concept of the promise of Jesus to the Jews. Maybe they felt that Jesus was promised through those races. I, I, I don't know. I, all I know is that we probably are wrapped in to the Jewish system of the promise of Christ. But in, in any case, it's okay. I'm, I'm all for it. And so we, we then have this kind of a responsibility. And if the children of Israel decided to do idol worship and the Lord took them out of the scene, how easy would it be for him to do that to us if we decided to go to an idol? Ah, he ain't gonna, he is not going to tolerate it. Uh, even Amen. if we were able to do it, you would destroy yourself. And if you don't believe it, study history a little while. Every tribe, every group of people that have done that have destroyed themselves. Uh, even the ones that they thought God was working with, such as here in Japan. The Chinese haven't done that, which is interesting. So if, uh, they might start. But we all kind of think that the coming future is still around Rome and Russia. I don't know. But, <laughs> I mean, it's fun studying it, but I, I don't. Uh, but I am aware of what he has said to us about Irish. And, and the whole concept of this, see, I've always disregarded this. Because how can you possibly worship an idol? See, I, it just doesn't work. But here's something that really clicks to me. Chapters in John. And he says, all of this stuff, all of it, is summed up in just a couple of simple things. Love God, and love your God man. I mean, think about it. You don't have to have a Bible. You can't have those because it comes from God, it comes from the Holy Spirit, and it works through Jesus Christ, of which we are celebrating over that today. And and so we have talked about it many times. We've given the story of Jesus so you all know it. So I won't spend 20 minutes. But I do recognize. <laughs> I do recognize that Jesus is the Son of the Living God. Jesus Christ is the Son of the Living God. And when you think about it, that puts it back to I am. I don't. I don't know where it's at because we we can't describe that. English in any language. Greek is better than ours. It can't say. You can't go forward in any language. You can't describe what is the farthest number you can go backwards to, and what's the farthest number you can go forwards to. If you want to blow your mind, spend an hour thinking about that. There isn't. You can always add one. You can always subtract one. Always. Oh. Anyway, so Jesus provided this, and whenever he came, and he made it possible for you and I to partake of this divine love. We are really privileged. Of course, the others look forward to it. The ones in the future will look back to us. So it's okay. I'll <laughs>
that are my grandkids. <laughs> and and I, I know this is premature because I'm not dead. Interesting. <laughs> and, and usually you give the inheritance to your kids. And so what I'm doing, just a small part, I am going to give some of Chuck's and Joanne's inheritance. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think your kids mind <laughs> so, so that's part of this, but it really isn't part of Christmas. It just fell on the time that I kind of wanted to do something for the grandkids. And, uh, and so what it does, it means that uh, if I check the bucket next week, then show my chocolate. <laughs> well, yeah, that's so, so it's irrelevant, but that's what that's about because you're all going to think, well, it's kind of funny. Why don't you give them that much money? And it's not, but it'll, but it'll help. <laughs>